I work in a museum. There are a few rules that the tour guides have to abide by. Written by Philangos Neum. Hi there, my name is James and I've worked as a tour guide at a national museum for about four years now. For safety purposes, I'm not going to tell you the name. Just know that it's a relatively big museum with lots of exhibits. I'll call it the museum whenever I refer to it, okay? When a tour guide successfully applies and receives a job, there's a list of rules that they are given. Most of them are normal sounding, you know, like, you must answer any question to the best of your ability, and so forth. However, I wouldn't be writing this if there weren't some more interesting rules. For example, Rule 7 states, If any of the paintings in Gallery 7 appear to have lost their inhabitants, call security immediately and leave. Security handles most of the problems that seem strange or off around here. Most of the rules require security to be informed. So, why am I telling you about all of this? Well, for one, this seems to be a really good place to explain all about my strange job. The second reason is, if any of you ever visit, and your tour guide starts acting strange or weird, you will know what to do. I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on some of the residents and exhibits here. So, on with Rule 1. Rule 1. No tour group is to ever be left by their guide. Now, I wasn't the one to break this rule, surprisingly enough. My colleague, well, ex-colleague Sam did. I was about six months into my job when this happened. From what we know, Sam needed the loo halfway round. She led her tour group over to the bathroom section and asked them to wait outside for her while she went. From the security feeds, she was only in there for a minute's tops. Unfortunately, it was a minute too long. The feeds went dead and when they activated themselves again, the tour group was still there and so was Sam, but different. She was now strung up on a new wooden structure about three meters tall, which looked almost like a crucifix. Her limbs were nailed to the wood and her mouth was stretched into a screaming shape. She had red tears slipping down her cheeks and a dark stain was clear on her side. Her legs were bent the wrong way and looked completely smashed, with the bone obviously sticking out. The tour group also looked weird. They stared into the active camera. Their faces were contorted into painful smiles, like the muscles in their faces were contracting and relaxing agonizingly. One of them, a young looking boy, I would have placed him at about eight years old, mouthed something and then the feeds went black. When they came back, all of the people within the group, the adults and children alike, were gone. Sam was still attached to the crucifix, but she was no longer screaming. She just hung there. We all got shown this in a training video, like we get shown with every other incident. Whatever or whoever runs this museum obviously wants the tour guides to know all about what will happen to us if we manage to mess up badly. Well, that set the mood well, didn't it? I'll post another rule soon. Being stuck at home does free up some time. Thanks for listening.